It all started with me because I was pretty good at sport. And so I played for the school at, at different sports and this involved into school events and lots of coach trips. And on these coach trips, I found myself leading the singing of all the latest pop songs. And someone in one of the teams then asked me to be part of the band that he was forming. I had been brought up to go along to church and, and so I was religious, if you like. But my life was sort of half in the church and half in the world doing the things that everybody else was doing. And one night after one of these gigs, I was sitting in the pub with the other members of the band and it was like God spoke to me in my, in my mind and said, well, if Jesus Christ really is who he claims to be, how are you going to live your life? Are you going to live it for yourself or are you going to live it for him? And when we got back to unload the gear, I, I spent several hours talking to other members of the band saying, actually, I want to live my life for Jesus. And I left the band that night and as I walked home, it was like I was walking one metre above the pavement. I was really excited. Cut a long story short, my wife and I ended up in West Africa uh, for 14 years. Such a privilege, such a joy to, to serve God there. And I found myself doing just about everything I'd always dreamed of doing. At one point I was even uh, directing a radio programme and that's besides doing all things to do with building work, which was the profession I was in. So I ended up doing everything I'd always dreamed of doing, and yet, for Jesus, just amazing. Jesus certainly did change my life.